I am a firm believer in using video to break down film. So we got the second serve, and I just been using this really short slice, and then I came in behind it. It's a delayed chip and charge. You want them to not know you're coming in. He goes to the slice. I got here, and I should have gone forehand short angle, but I think I went to his backhand because his forehand has just been ridiculous. This is a beautiful way to break the chip and charge. You hit the lob over my left, over my backhand. I can't come in, but you gotta come in. Look at this. I'm I'm going back. I assumed he was coming in. That's why I hit this nasty little slice. So we get into this battle. I like using this slice against a semi western forehand. It's hard for him to hit a winner because the ball is really low, so he has to spend a lot of his effort lifting the ball. I really should not play this forehand. If you have a shot like this, come in. Look at this shot. Look at this shot right here. If I let that ball bounce and move back on it, I'd be screwed. So I catch it on the rise, but there's not much I can do with it. Ball so ugly, right? Come in. I mean, look at it. It should have been to his backhand. I went to his forehand. His forehand's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous shot. I'm lucky to get this ball back. And when you see your opponent do something like this, where he goes to like a half, half, half hearted drop shot, you're starting to get to them. So keep doing what you've been doing because when they do stuff like that, you're like, that's mentally weak. Especially when you're, he's such a good ground stroker. And so when you play someone like my friend, I've discovered that he's not going to come to the net when he's supposed to come to the net. So just stay in the point a really long time and wear him down. But you have to play this backhand because his forehand is so solid. And that's a good way to neutralize the chip and charge, which is pretty tough to do.